So I'm playing around with these Anchor Solar 400 watt portable solar panels. And I had them um, all connected with, so I had these 400 in parallel with that, those 400 in parallel with those 400. And I was only getting like 28 amps out of it. And then when I just went to the Anchor Solar 800 watts um, in parallel, I'm getting around 19 to 20 amps out of these solar panels. And they're, they're on the, not quite the lowest setting, the second from the lowest to where they'd be laying down on the ground at an uh, even slighter angle. So... I only picked up 10 amps, so I have eight solar panels. So it was a little over an amp on each one of those solar panels. But on these, I was picking up like two amps on each solar panel. You got four solar panels in each one of these. So I was only getting 10 amps out of those solar panels, eight of those solar panels, but I'm getting close to 20 amps out of the anchor. So the anchor is producing double for me. Now I'm only getting like 520 watts out of 800 watts of solar. So, and when I had, when I had the other ones connected, the um, other 800, God, I was only picking up like maybe 350 watts out of 800 on those flexible solar panels. So the flexible get worse than the portable. The portable's more rigid. You can see that three out of those four um, are pretty rigid, but that one right there doesn't have a kickstand behind it. I guess because of the design, they didn't put one on it, so it kind of sags in a little bit. But um, we, uh, I don't know if I can get this, get this shade off of here. Um, got a little bit of shade on the corner there. See, oh, I'm, I might be able to, uh, might be able to do something here to get that shade off. Let's see. See if that makes a, a difference on the, uh, I'm running out of room in my yard to test. And I watered my lawn earlier, so I couldn't, couldn't put them on my lawn. <laughs> so... Okay, we got the, got the shade off this corner. So we'll go take a look and see what we're getting. Trying to see if we can use those um, two portable 400 watt anchor solar panels to charge the uh, two 12.8 volt watt cycle batteries that are in series for 24 volts. So, we're getting 19 amps, 39 volts coming in, and uh, 517, 522 on the uh, watts coming in. So, we're getting uh, 525 right there, 525. But it's settling right around, and now it's 522, maybe 520. So we're getting about 520 out of a possible 800. And 19 amps is not going to be able to charge those batteries up. We're going we're gonna to need to be around... Uh, 35 40 amps to be able to charge those up after we use them all night long so now with those other we'll go go connect those others because there's no load on that and we'll see what we get when we put 1600 watts but like they said those portable solar panels don't produce as well as the uh the uh, flexible doesn't perform as well as the uh, portable. The for portable are more rigid. So let's uh, 
let's connect that and connect the negative and we don't have any shade on any of these ones in the back so so we actually have four in series four in series parallel, parallel those together in the back those four are in series just the way they wire them these four are in series and then we parallel those two so we have two sets of 800 in parallel but we actually have uh four sets of 400 in parallel so let's see if that adds anything to it now those eight flexibles are only weigh like five pounds they don't weigh that much okay so we're we're bringing in 29 amps off of this 40 volts and 790 watts so 780 I mean 790 that's um, we were bringing in 520 so that's only like 270 watts out of 800 that's not very good that's that's like 30 percent on that so and those are at a pretty good angle but on that it'd be really kind of tight even with those 16 um, 29 amps. We'll see if we can charge that. We don't have a load on that right now. We, um, we usually run our EG4 mini split over there off that 24 volt system at night, but we switched it over to our regular off grid uh, system so that we could switch the solar panels out because we don't want to load when we're moving those solar panels around and connecting and disconnecting. So we'll leave that alone at 29 and see if uh, that'll charge it up. Right now we're at 26.9 volts. 26.9 and it's 12 o'clock. Eh, it might have a chance to get charged up to 100%. The problem I'm having right now, um, I have 2100 volt or 2100 watts of solar um, that I was using for that. Four 250 watt poly panels. All right, there's somebody always asking for the puppy in the uh, video. There she is with her tongue hanging out. So we've been charging them with four 270 watt mono panels up here in series and then four 250 watt polys in series and then we parallel those together and run them in for 2100 watts. So, but usually with that, we can get, for 2,100 watts, we can get 2,000 watts, actually, um, on that inverter. And we can charge it like 65, 70 amps. And the problem we were having, I don't know if I can get up there. The uh, problem we were having was we get shading this time of the year from the roof ridge up there and you can see right now I don't know if you can see over there but the third panel this first second third and fourth panel have shading on it and the other ones over there are shading on it so probably in another half hour or so we'll have full sun on that and we'll be able to get like 65 70 amps 2000 watts out of that oh that hurt um to be able to uh, really charge that up so you know 280 amp hour two of those 280 amp hours um you know if you drain that thing down halfway you got 140 amp hours on each one 
And say you get 150 amp hours, if you only have 30 amps coming in, after five hours, you're only gonna really charge one of those batteries up and the other one's gonna be at 50% or still need 150 amp hour charge. Um, so you really need to be able to charge around 60 amps. Um, if you drain that thing down, and you have a, you need to charge up 180 amp hours on both batteries. At 60 amps, it would take around six hours to charge those up. Um, Cause you'd be having, at 60 amps, you'd be having like 30 amps going into each of their batteries. So at 180, that would be uh, six times 30 is 180. So, um, not sure if these would really work out. Now these come with a kickstand and they're portable. They weigh like 38 pounds. And I just found these and I ordered some more and they're pretty, pretty light. Um, they're just little kickstands that are adjustable, the angle on them. And um, you can adjust any angle on these. And they, you're supposed to use two of these, one over here and one over here, but they seem to do very well holding these solar panels. So I ordered another eight of those because I have 10 of these solar panels, but these solar panels are, are um, crapping out on me. Uh, down here, I already have a burn mark blister down there. So I'm wanting to see if those will blister. I haven't had any blistering on these. I got these from Santan Solar. It was a one-off. They had them one time, and I haven't seen them since. So, you know, they just got them in one time. But uh, those I bought on Amazon and... Man, they were only 105 degrees out, and they, I had, I have one, two, three, four, five. So five out of the 10 have already blistered on me, and I'm wanting to see if I have this connected, if the other five are going to blister on me today. It's going to be 110 today, so I'm going to kind of see if uh, these end up blistering on me with a load on them. So we'll see. We'll go back in and uh, take a look. Unfortunately, I have my app for the watt cycle battery on this phone, so I can't take a look to see what the percentage state of charge is. Um, try and put something in there. It's, it's around noon, so maybe I can look and see if it's around noon and I could take, well, it's 26.9 volts so far. Oh, we're up to 788 watts. Uh, that's not really that much. We were at 780 earlier. So 40 volts, 29 amps. Uh, you know, we get up to about 27.3, 20, 27.2, 27.3. We have a chance of um, getting those fully charged up. So we'll see. It's noon. We got like uh, four to five hours to play. Well, no, I, I take that back. We're going to be in shade in about a half hour, hour on that. So we'll probably have to switch over. But I wanted to see what kind of output I was going to get from those. So right now, you know, it's the 20th, I think, of August. And that's at the best angle possible. I'm getting five... 20 watts out of 800 so that's pretty much what i thought to expect because usually out of those uh flexible ones you get even you don't get even that so um you know the flexible ones seem like they're half the amount of output of the um anchor solar 400 watts so we'll take a look and see anyways we're going to run this test the rest of the day and We'll try to put the uh, results in the description for you. Just wanted to show you that. And please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And if you have anything that you would like to send me and test, um, I love testing out stuff. I'll give an honest review. I like testing out the mini splits, the inverters, batteries, 
um, 12 volt batteries where I can put them in 24, 48 volt configuration. I got 48 volt server rack batteries. These are 48 volt uh, inverters where you put two in parallel and you get split phase. And, you know, I'm running my three and a half ton and four ton air conditioner off of the system right now. Actually, I'm running those, the three and a half ton, the four ton, the 18,000 BTU mini split and the um, EG4 12,000 BTU mini split all off the system right now. And we're running 48% on that one, 48 on that one, 46 on that one, 41, 42, and this is usually a little bit less, uh, 33, 34%. So, and we're at 100% on our battery bank for, our, got seven of these batteries in parallel. So, nice and cool in the garage. It is right around 75 degrees. So, Nice cool day inside, nice hot and really humid outside. That's it. See you in the next video. Have a blessed day.